Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know already, my name is Jay. I'm an online reseller and uh, I buy stuff to sell online, mainly eBay, sometimes some other websites as well. In today's video, I am going to be showing you some stuff that I managed to pick up in a bundle from a car boot sale a couple of weeks ago. Now, I did leave a comment in that video saying if you're interested in seeing some more details of these items, let me know. And I had quite a bit of interest. Uh, unfortunately, I've been a little bit sick. What happened was I actually ended up buying some bunny rabbits uh, because, you know, I wanted some pets. Uh, I will insert a clip here uh, if I manage to get one of the bunnies. Uh, this one here is Boris. And this one here is Johnson. Boris Johnson. Say hi, Boris. No, you're being lazy. Typical. What about you, Johnson? You want to say hi to the internet? You're famous now. You don't care, do you? You don't care. <laughs> uh, but turns out I am highly allergic to the hay that they eat. So I've been super sick with a really bad hay fever. Started with a sore throat, then it turned into like a cough. Um, and yeah, my head went all funny, all bunged up and everything. No, it wasn't COVID. Uh, it was hay fever. Um, but yeah, that's slowly going away now a few days into that. Um, so yeah, there is a few things I can do with that. I can get a different type of hay, apparently, which uh, doesn't affect hay fever as much. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we can get that fixed because I do not want to have to give away my bunny rabbits because they are cool. And I like them. Uh, anyway, moving on. So yes, the Poly Pockets that I picked up from the car boot sale, we're going to be going over them today individually, showing what it is, the condition, what comes with it, talking about it a little bit, and then I'm going to try and find some sale prices of ones that have previously sold within the last 90 days on eBay uh, and put those on screen so you can see uh, how much potentially I can get for these. Now, when these did arrive, they were in very dirty condition, so I did spend a few hours uh, in the back garden, it was a sunny day uh, with some soap and water. And I did scrub these down all nice and clean. Uh, so yeah, these are now pretty much perfectly clean. Uh, so that was really worth doing as well. So um, yeah, we're going to put you up here on this little contraption so you can see down. And I'm going to show it all off. And uh, yeah, just in case you were wondering, I paid £20 for this entire bag. Uh, so really, really cheap. Uh, for Polly Pockets because they can go for some crazy money. So yeah, without rambling too much at the beginning of today's video, that's all we're going to be doing today. So if you enjoy this, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We do lots of other content around reselling, making money, uh, buying and selling stuff. So if you're interested in that, do subscribe for future videos and uh, hit the little bell as well because I never mention this. Uh, but I think like 5%, <laughs> seriously, about 5% of my subscribers actually have the notification bell on. This just tells you uh, when I do upload. So you'll be able to be one of the first people there and never miss a video. Uh, so yeah, let's get you up here and uh, get straight into the video, shall we? Okay, so let's just grab into the bag and see what we can find. So yeah, like I said, I paid £20 uh for all of what i'm going to show you today um i'm not sure what's supposed to be in each one so you may see stuff that's in one that's supposed to be in the other uh, if you do just let me know in the comments down below if you're more well informed than i am of course i don't know too much about these um i was given a web address that uh shows you all of the pieces for the different sets um so we'll have to go through that before i list these i've actually had these for a few weeks now uh, and I've not even photoed them. All I've done is clean them up. So, uh, yeah, I was supposed to do this video a couple of weeks ago, but I was busy and then I got sick. So we're doing it today. So starting off with this one, this seems to be some sort of like bow and tie kind of little package here. So if we open this up, oh, let me give you a close up of this. I don't know how well you can see it from down there. Still a little bit of a, a wear and tear on this one, obviously, but I have given it a nice little clean. Um, so, yeah. So as you can see inside, it's kind of like a little apartment building. Uh, and then up the top, there's like all of this uh, staircase and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, we have this little kit. It has currently one Polly Pocket in there. I don't know whether the characters are just called Polly Pockets or whether one of them's called Polly Pocket and then the other ones are our friends and other weird characters. But 
yeah comes with this character right here so obviously she just fits in there like that or whatever um and does her little thing so like i said i don't know if that's the right character for this one or whether there's supposed to be uh more in there or, or what's going on but yeah it looks pretty good to me doesn't seem to be anything broken on the inside everything seems to be working nothing obviously wrong with this in my opinion but um there might be something glaringly obvious uh to anyone watching uh at home so do let me know if you notice anything with any of these sets but yeah that is that one um see what it says on the back bluebird 1994 again i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that but that's from 1994 so that's 25 years old i think is that right no 27 years old have this small version here this kind of looks like a suitcase some sort of travel case or something like that has this little thing on the side here i guess that does some motion on the inside um this one is from 96 so a little bit newer than the other one so this one is 25 years old um how do we open this one here we go okay so again we have one character on the inside i believe that's not a character there this is a character though um looks fairly similar to the other one so maybe this is polly I'm not so sure, uh, but she goes in there like that. And this actually looks like a little bit of a castle maybe on the inside, it has a lift um, right here, which I guess, maybe is that what this does? Is that, I can't do it with one hand. Ah, there we go. So that little button on the side does operate that lift. There seems to be some sort of door here maybe, some hinge, yep. Yeah. So yeah, this is like a little castle-y kind of, design again i'm going to try and get some prices up on screen but i can't guarantee that all of these kits have sold recently so i will try my best but obviously i cannot guarantee that i will find prices for them but yeah another one right there so i don't know if you can actually see into that corner but that's where i'm keeping them right so this one here is actually like a perfume bottle or like a shampoo bottle or something uh, it's supposed to have like a little ball on top i believe which is actually missing so this one is on the exterior partly damaged or broken or missing pieces or whatever you want to call it but yeah um we're gonna open this one up try not to block the light so you can see everything and again same sort of character on the inside there this time she's wearing like shades and some sort of dress uh but yeah this seems to be some sort of like spa there's like a um bubble bath in there or jacuzzi or something uh some stairs up and then obviously some stuff here perfume bottles mirror that kind of stuff uh like i said this looks pretty good on the inside however the outside is missing a piece on the top here so that will probably affect the price i don't know whether that will affect the price drastically or slightly i'm not sure uh, but everything else seems to be intact but again i'm no expert so could be other pieces missing other pieces broken characters missing etc etc uh, so this one here is a book as you can see uh, i'm not sure if there's a character in there or not uh, but yeah there's pink book with the orange pages um and let's open this up okay so this one has like a little hammock i don't know how well you can see that this is angles really awkward to uh to show you guys stuff um there's a chest here that opens up obviously the character in this one is missing it's not anywhere to be seen um so i will look up on that website to see which character goes in here maybe she's been put or he's been put into the wrong poly pocket case or whatever happens to be uh, but yeah this one looks all in pretty good condition other than the fact that obviously the character is not here which is uh, kind of sad because that obviously will affect the price and uh, yeah i'm not really sure how this closes oh there you go so let's see if we can find the year uh, this one was 95 uh, but yeah 95 so yeah another good one right there and again prices hopefully on screen cannot guarantee whether that's going to be the case this one here uh, which is kind of like a, a bucket it's like a bucket hotel oh the handle's fallen off hang on 
base rather than uh, what were these ones? Bluebird or something. So this one might not be Polly Pocket. So um, we'll have to do some more investigation into that one. Uh, but okay, moving on. So yeah, this one is some sort of pony or horse, uh, very small. Uh, this one is Bluebird 1995. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. No Polly Pocket inside, unfortunately. Uh, but everything seems to be working. Little hatch door here. Um, more stuff up here. Little bow tie on the top there. Um, so yeah, a nice small uh, little compact one. I think there probably would have been something that went in here. So maybe like some sort of flower or bow for the uh, the horse's head right there. Uh, which is obviously not there now. Uh, but yeah, another one from 1995. A very small, this one. Um, so... Interesting to see what the really small ones are worth compared to the big ones. Very interesting, this one. So this is some sort of like music box clock or something. Uh, as you can see, there is a clock on the front. Uh, Polly Pockets on the top. Uh, is there an age on this one? Let's see if we can find a date. No date on the exterior. Maybe it's on the interior. So let's see if we can open this up somehow without breaking it. There we go. Nice little apartment up the top there. A swing. Look at that swing okay some chairs that kind of stuff and then i believe the back opens up here there's like a little carry safe thing and then you can put some batteries in the back there to run that clock now i do have batteries but i'm not sure one of these let's see if this clock works ah as you can see the clock does work does this set the time no okay you obviously have to set the time on the back but this clock is working uh which is great so that's good news that will hopefully help the uh the price of the item um so that goes back in there like that that closes i've taken the battery out we don't want any leakage or anything going on uh couldn't find a date on this one but it's probably on there somewhere this lovely flower maybe like a sunflower of some sort. Uh, this one is from 95 as well. Seems to be a character inside this one. There we go. Ah, so this is actually the spirograph one. So it's supposed to come with more of these little spirographs and then you use them on the inside here. As you can see, unfortunately only has one. So it is missing the larger one here. And uh, I presume there would be like a pad of paper and a pen here. And then you would change this paper out on the inside by you know lifting this up taking that out putting another one on the inside um so pretty cool piece actually if you think about it um for a child to play with the pad is missing the pen is missing and the larger spyro is missing but i presume that a lot of these have these bits missing uh just because of the nature of the size of the item i presume so that might be a common thing or it might not be and my one might just not be worth as much as everyone else's because of that but you never know um, someone might be looking for that little cog uh, that's inside there and this might interest them um, again no idea what this is worth but there we go ah we have another book is this the same age as the last one uh, 95 I can't remember what the last one was uh, but again it's pretty much the same on the outside there is a little rattle on the inside so I don't know if that's a poly pocket in there or something else no, it doesn't look like it. So the other one was some sort of castle. And maybe this one is some sort of palace. Um, nice little staircase. The rattle was this kind of like chair swing on the inside. Again, no uh, Polly Pocket to be seen, unfortunately. So this does like kind of come up here. So it looks like there's like a... I don't really know, curtain or something, I guess you would call that. Uh, but yeah, again, in really nice condition. Doesn't seem to be anything broken or damaged, other than the fact that the character is quite obviously missing from that. So we actually have two of these booklets now, so that's that's really good. Um, right. We have this one here, which is an even smaller one, the smallest one so far. Uh, this seems to be some sort of necklace chain. Uh, unfortunately... This chain here, like a little bit of material, it's disgusting. It's been damaged, water damaged or something. Uh, but I'm going to leave it on there because 
it has these little end connection bits and someone can replace that themselves if they want to or they can just chop it off uh but yeah there's a rattle inside so let's have a look uh 95 this one's from there we go so no poly pocket on the inside of this one again uh but all of the stuff on the inside looks pretty good condition so yeah very small one right here uh but in good condition other than the chain obviously um but yeah smallest one so far right so this one here is from 1994 so a bit of a bigger one this time uh looks like a horseshoe uh design on the outside there and then we open it up there's this nice tent with a horse oh you can actually turn the horse here by pressing this i wonder if you can put the character in there that would be funny if you put the character on there and then it rides the horse, but unfortunately not. Uh, this looks like some sort of like seating area that opens up, so you can put all your little characters in there to watch like a show or something, I guess. Uh, two characters with this one. Um, again, everything looks really nice on the inside, so no obvious damage or anything like that. How do I... There we go. Um, everything looks intact. Some doors here. Little hatch that opens up for the stairs. Uh little closet door maybe there's some like clothes or something on the inside i don't know how that opens but there we go um yeah so again i will have to look up the characters that go with this those two may not be the correct char characters for this set uh, and i want to make sure that as many of them uh go to the correct sets as possible because that obviously will help with selling them uh but yeah another really nice piece right there and again if you forgot uh 20 pounds we paid for all of these and we're probably about halfway through uh, with some really big ones coming up so yeah right next up we have a bit of a bigger set here so this is some sort of like greenhouse um there is characters on the inside of this so uh, it's like some sort of greenhouse on the top um so yeah very nice condition this one is from 1994 so 27 years old so uh, to have all of these characters on the inside it's pretty impressive um again do these characters go with this set i have no idea uh, we've got some dresses four different characters here um but yeah really nice there seems to be like a wedding going on maybe uh which explains the wedding dress and maybe these are her bridesmaids or something uh, there's a wedding cake um like an altar or something um yeah really nice one 1994 i think i said very good it's one of the last smaller versions uh some sort of other flower so this one really confused me when i was watching it i was like how does this open like how do i how do i get this open it confused me for a minute and 1997 uh what actually happens is it opens from the middle somehow well no nope, not that way this way there we go <laughs> opens like that it confused me for a minute i was like does this one even open it does open it opens like that uh so there you go that opens up like that and that is some sort of like seating area some sort of house little mirror up there um yeah it's glittery and the glitter does fall off even after all these years trust me it went everywhere when i was cleaning these things so yeah glitter on toys well glitter in general is probably the most annoying thing in the world uh it gets absolutely everywhere it's horrible um and uh yeah i don't really want to touch this anymore because it's going to go everywhere but again no characters in that one unfortunately uh but from 1997 very good condition um happy with that one so put that on the other sunflower one so we have another one that kind of looks like this actually I guess they could be from the same sort of set maybe um yeah so this one again has the uh clear see-through ceiling uh of the building it has a lift on the side so they can get up to the top um i believe the top opens there we go don't know where that's from uh we have one character here at the cash point and then the inside opens up and we have another uh character on the inside there so this is like a grocery store or something um so yeah very compact lots of stuff going on 
with this one here. Uh, very good condition, nothing screams to me that it's broken, which is really good. Uh, usually you would see stuff like this broken on toys and stuff, so the fact that this on the exterior is still intact is pretty good going. Uh, 1995, so 26 years. Very, very good. So happy with that one. And that, yeah, looks like it goes with the same sort of set, but I don't think so because of the age um, difference. But there we go. Right, here we go. We have a love heart shaped one right here, as you can see. And this one is from 1994. Um, so we can open this one up and see what's inside. Two characters on the inside there. And we actually have a baby up here, which is first time I've seen that I don't think I even noticed that when I was cleaning these uh, but there we go looks very basic um, so maybe this was one of the first ones made I'm not sure not too much going on in this one compared to the other ones uh, but yeah pretty cool um, I'm not a girl obviously um, my sister had this kind of stuff when she was growing up um, I can see why people enjoyed this like playing around with the little characters and stuff um, if there was like a guy version of this when i was growing up maybe like armies uh or something like that i probably would have quite enjoyed it actually saying that i had micro machines which is pretty much the same thing but with little cars inside a big plastic like case kind of thing so i guess that's the same similar thing so yeah um it makes perfect sense to me um yeah 1994 like i said one of the older ones that we have here so far um very basic on the inside this one though now this was in here star gymnastics this is not poly pockets i don't think so we're going to put that to the side uh we also had this gymnastics kit here which had larger characters with magnets on i'm fairly certain i remember my sister having this exact kit i'm not sure whether this is poly pockets because this is 1999 mattel um so something similar but uh but actually it does say poly here so maybe mattel took over and increased the size i'm not sure but yeah again we have another of these magnetic gymnastics poly kits um whether this was like a spin-off that mattel did or something uh, but it comes with these like magnetic poly pocket characters um again yeah 1999 mattel again this is something that i don't think is anything to do with poly pockets some sort of little church uh, it doesn't have any markings on, which is of a sus uh, straight out the gate, but the characters are little animals. So <laughs> if you have any idea what this is, do let me know because it's not Polly Pockets. Um, but yeah, a little church there. Some strange animal characters on the inside. So this one here is a strange one because this is like Disney Polly Pockets. It's actually Disney on the back. Uh, but it's like Aladdin themed, I think. If I can open it. How do I open it? It's stuck. Great. There we go. As you can see, it's like an Aladdin Polly Pocket by Disney. Uh, it's not Polly Pockets. It is by Disney. So, um, yeah, weird one. Again, I don't know whether this comes under the bracket of Polly Pockets and Disney just... I don't know. I don't think so. I think they just made something similar, I guess. Um... But yeah, you have Aladdin and Jasmine there. I think that's her name, right? In that little one. So here we have a uh, like Disney castle kind of style thing. We are missing one of the uh, spires here on the top of the turret, unfortunately. Um, but this is by Trend Masters, 1998. So again, this may not be Polly Pockets. Different company, uh, but something very similar at least. Opens up and... Uh, little kind of princesses and stuff on the inside there so not sure whether that is official and again oh we have sparkles and glitter everywhere so we have two main kits left uh, i'm just going to show you these little bits bluebird toys so poly pocket like minivan interesting some sort of like cake or some sort of metal or something um and then at the bottom of the bag, we have some characters here. So spares that we can fill other things with. Some few little bits that probably aren't Polly Pockets. Um, but we'll work that out as we go, I presume. Right, the penultimate kit is this one here. So I'm really excited about this one. Because this is actually Snow White in the Seven Dwarves house. 
Um, and we have six other dwarves and a witch, I believe, and maybe Snow White's in there as well. I can't remember. Um, see if we can empty them out. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and the witch. And here she is. I think this is Snow White. Maybe this is a different story. I can't remember. Uh, I don't really do Disney, to be honest. And then we have her. Snow White, right? Yeah, I'm not going crazy. Uh, so we are missing one of the dwarves, unless it's like hiding inside this part of the building. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, but that fully opens up like that. That's pretty cool, right? So if you're into Disney, Snow White, Seven Dwarves, that's your kind of thing. Um, look, you've got all of the seven beds up there in the top. You've got the living quarters. You've got the organ. Um, yeah, that that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. And obviously the witch as well. Not sure why she's like hanging around the house. Uh, but yeah. So this is official Polly Pockets, Bluebird 1995. Um, there is a battery compartment in the back, which is interesting. I've not opened that up to see. Um, I'm not really sure what that does. Maybe that lights something up or... Let's have a look. Hopefully there's no leakage in there, but it is 25 years old, so it wouldn't surprise me. Let's have a look. A little bit more... Ah, yep, we got some damage there to that battery. All right, let's throw that battery out. Okay, we have some battery acid damage. Uh, again, like I said, I have no idea what that uh, battery does. Maybe it has like a light or something. I'm not sure. We're going to screw that back up before I lose the screw. But yeah. That is the second to last one, so I'm going to put these characters back in before I lose another dwarf, because they are very small, obviously, being dwarf. All done. Right, put it over this side, because that is an official. Right, last but not least, we have this mansion. Look at the size of this thing, wow. <laughs> so, I don't know if we have any characters with this one, uh, but this one is from 1994, so again, 27 years old, wow. Time does fly, huh? Uh, I was one years old when this came out, so it's nearly as old as me. Uh, but yeah, so I believe this opens over here. This top bit opens like that. The roof over here opens. This roof opens. And I believe this, yeah, look, look at that, this opens. There's even a door that goes into the other section here that you can open. So there is a lot here that goes on. There's a lot of uh, moving parts and secret compartments. Again, no characters with this one. There's actually a garage here. I have no idea how to open it. Um, I've been trying to figure that out. When I was cleaning this, I was like, how do you get in there? I have no idea. Maybe there's a car in there. I don't know. Uh, but I can't get it open. It's not jammed or broken or anything. I just don't know how to trigger it to open. There's like a little pin in the corner here, as you will see, which uh, obviously unlatches the door, but I'm not sure where the button is to actually release that um, that button. So yeah, that is the last piece of the puzzle. I say puzzle, there's nothing puzzling about this. Uh, but yeah, let me rip you down here. So as you can see, this is everything that we got. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 official that I know of, plus the car, 18. Uh, and then over here we have the larger Polly Pockets by Mattel, I think are Polly Pockets. So we have two of those gymnastic kits. That bumps it up to about 20 kits, which is crazy because that ends up as one pound per kit. And then we have the other stuff, which is obviously not Polly Pockets at all. Um, so yeah, this is absolutely insane for £20, I believe. Um, yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. I said I was going to go into more detail with what I picked up. Um, I'm not an expert on Polly Pockets, far from it. All I know is if you pick it up, it's probably worth some good money. So that's what I did. 
Um, so hopefully I've put some good um, prices on the screen during today's video, which will give you a heads up when you're out on about picking stuff up as well. Uh, again, if you enjoyed today's video, please do smash a like, subscribe if you are new or this was at all interesting to you. Uh, if you got to the end of the video, you probably enjoyed it. Um, so please do subscribe and uh, hit the little notification bell and I will see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.